Welcome to the Temple of Aerodynamics. In 1972, Pininfarina became a pioneer in its field when Chairman Sergio Pininfarina inaugurated the wind tunnel here in Grugliasco, just outside of Turin. At the time, it was Italy's first full-scale automotive wind tunnel and one of only seven in the world. This facility has given Pininfarina a remarkable competitive advantage as we are the only design company in the world to operate its own wind tunnel. Now, let's step inside and discover how this incredible facility works. One of the most significant upgrades over the years has been the 13 fan arch, a large structure housing 13 additional fans, each 1.8 meters in diameter. This system allows the wind tunnel to reach speeds of up to 250 kilometers an hour, all while keeping noise levels under control. Noise reduction is critical to the wind tunnel's operation, as on top of the traditional aerodynamic testing, the Pininfarina wind tunnel also performs aeroacoustic measurements. This is where the noise generated by the interaction between the wind and a vehicle are measured, optimized, and improved. For this reason, the main fan has also been updated over the years. The original fan had a classic four blade design, whereas the current version features 29 shorter blades, optimized to reduce background noise. Let's continue exploring how this fascinating process unfolds in our wind tunnel. Entering the test section, we can observe some other key features of our facility. The sidewalls and ceilings are covered with acoustic absorbing panels to reduce the noise. The main fan is positioned behind the car, this is to ensure that the flow reaching the vehicle is smooth and clean. We can also see the rolling road system, which is essential for accurately reproducing airflow beneath the vehicle. Our system, however, is unique, featuring a T-belt configuration and four rollers under the wheels. Within the test section, we also find key measurement tools, including the balance for measuring aerodynamic forces, the turntable, allowing the vehicle to rotate for different test angles, the traversing gear, which moves probes through the airflow, and the array, which is used for aeroacoustic flow analysis. This is the V-Moto APD, a maxi scooter designed by Pininfarina. After extensive development, the design, while striking, has aerodynamic principles at its core, a vehicle sculpted by the wind. While the Pininfarina wind tunnel is renowned for its work in the automotive sector, it has become increasingly important for the world of two-wheelers, especially in the context of electrification. Electric vehicles, including two-wheelers, face aerodynamic challenges, such as reducing drag coefficient and managing battery cooling. While these challenges aren't unique to electric vehicles, they are critical to maximizing their usability, range, and feasibility in the real world. It's important to note, however, that new technical requirements should never overlook beauty. And this is where Pininfarina plays a key role, combining design with aerodynamic functionality. And finally, we come to the turbulence generator, a remarkable device designed to create specific turbulence conditions within the airflow, realistically simulating the challenges of vehicle faces on the road. This concludes the tour of the Pininfarina wind tunnel. We hope you've gained a deeper understanding for the fascinating world of aerodynamics and the role this facility plays in shaping the future of mobility. Thank you.